Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy, Uncle Brother YND, and as y'all can see, I'm still wearing this same chain, you feel me? I'm not taking a chain off y'all until I hit 100,000 subscribers. I sleep with it. It's like my lucky chain at this point. I shower with it. I be in them guts, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy, beating in the doonies with these heme hemes, you know what I'm saying? Giving them that Chico stick, that melatonin dick with the chain on, you know? My balls clapping, the chain is too. So today, I'm about to teach y'all the elevated 2.0, no ass left behind mentality on how to pursue girls after you get their number. So you watched my last video or you done got some girl's number, whether it was through a, a dating app, uh, which is going to be a little bit different, but I'm about to try to put it all together in a concise manner. But make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, check out the Patreon and check out my other dating advice videos. So. You got the girl's number, right? How do you move after this so you don't fumble? Because a lot of y'all, y'all struggle when it comes to how do I get this number and turn this into getting the ass? How do I turn this into romantic uh, relationship? How do I make this go well so I don't mess this up and lose the interest, okay? So in the beginning, it's, it's going to be a little bit of this cat and mouse game is how it's going to feel. But I want to take the power from the women's hands, even though it's like they have it. Because in the beginning, you got to do more to pursuing because that's just how it works. But I want you to understand that you are able to move how you want to move. And I'm about to teach you that today. So the first thing is that when you get a girl's number... When you hit her up, make sure you know why you're going to hit her up. If you've been following me, you already know about my progressions of dating. Air dip. You know, go check out that whole video so you can understand it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? <laughs> but basically, you are on the second stage. So the first part is the approach and introduction. Now you're on the rapport stage. This is where you're going to you know, talk to the girl a little bit before you actually go out with her. Now, what having this type of uh, progression and knowing how to pursue with women, following my template here, this is going to give you concise goals and milestones that you're trying to hit and take things to because your goal is you want to sleep with the girl and you want to get some sort of sexual investment from her. That's how the relationship has to go. OK, but before you can get to the ass, you need to you're going to have to go through this little middle stage right here. So the first thing, if you get a woman's number, only text her when you know you're going to be able to see her soon. You get what, so so I used to tell guys, OK, you want to wait, you know, a week. Right. Uh, some guys I would say, you know, sometimes I would say, you know, three to seven days, four to seven days, two, three days. Fuck just waiting to wait. OK. And I've been thinking this, guys, but I had to put it to you guys that way, because a lot of you guys came from being simps and nice guys with no experience with women. OK. But now I want you to elevate to a place to where you know how. You know where you want to move and you got real game and you done elevated to your higher self. So the whole reason why from the beginning that I would wait four to seven days or a week is not because I was just trying to seem high value like I had other shit going on. Guys, I've always had a whole bunch of stuff going on. Therefore, for me, it was no reason to hit up a girl that I just got her number if I know that I cannot take it to that next stage. Otherwise, we are talking for no reason, okay? And me personally, and you should be the same way. If you're chasing your purpose, if you're building your empire, if you're on your grind, if you're really on your self-improvement, your elevation, and you got a disciplined, busy schedule, you being young and disciplined and not young and distracted, chasing dopamine, watching uh, videos all day that's not even teaching you nothing, watching TikToks all day, rubbing your nutsack, Counting the wrinkles on there. I got 300,000 and 22 right here. I got a great ball sack. I don't know why. I'm not stressed. I don't do nothing. You got the baby soft hands because you ain't never pumped no iron or used your man hands and work never. If that's you, then I was telling you to wait because you going to look desperate as shit because you probably don't get a lot of girls' numbers. But if you don't actually put in the work and made yourself attractive and you chasing your higher self, there is no reason to, to wait except for the fact that I'm going to be wasting time texting some girl and I know I can't see her. You text and call with a purpose. So in my mind, if I get a girl's number on Thursday, typically my schedule is going to be pretty packed already for that weekend. It's already been scheduled and set up. Therefore, there's no reason to hit her up that same Thursday evening or that next Friday. I mean, or the next day on Friday talking about, can you go out Saturday? Another thing too, guys, a lot of girls, they schedules is busy. You see what I'm saying? They already had a life before you. They already 
already had plans and shit like this. I want you guys to be the same way. You should already have a weekly schedule and shit that's going on. If you're building a social life and you actually kick it with people and you got things that you do and you go to your kickboxing class and you got your martial arts this or you doing your gymnastics and your hobbies on the side along with your main purpose and grind and your night school and your job and your career and all of these in your business that you're building up, you would be busy too. Because what it's gonna do is the byproduct of being like that is gonna make it so let's say if I did that and I hit that girl up on Monday, right after the weekend, I hit her up on Monday. If she is really interested, you could raise girls' interest from doing this, or two, you could just make a girl show her hand and you'll really know where you stand with her. So if I hit a girl up on Monday after I got her number on Thursday, right, because I know that that following weekend or sometime throughout this week, I could possibly see her. When I'm hitting her up, I'm like, hey, this is D. How was your weekend? That's how I could open that up, right? She'll say, my weekend was this and that. And then she might say, where you been? I was waiting for you to text me. Well, that's a huge indicator that this girl has interest. She's trying to let it be known how interested she is a girl with moderate interest she probably won't do that you know she'll give a good response back and say how was your weekend but a girl with high interest or she kind of letting you know hey where you been at I, I've been looking for you I've been thinking about you right she'll say something like this this is a good way to know that because if I would have hit her up that same day maybe I did give her desperate vibes right and if you don't care about that I mean who gives a fuck I done got numbers and texted the girl that same day because I was thinking I was gonna try to set up something for two days from then move how you want to move that's what I want you guys have the freedom to elevate from these dating coaches you watching and even from me and not just going off how long should I wait how long fuck all that man do shit off your time but just make sure it's concise and it makes sense with the goals of what you want with the relationship so you can end up waiting three days two days four days a week and just know that if you wait longer it is possible that some other guy comes in her life or she think you playing games and she's not interested but guess what you shouldn't care no way. You see what I'm saying? Because that's the decision that you made. You knew you couldn't see her for that whole week. You ain't really had nothing to talk to her about. Right now, if you want to hit her up and just talk, that's on you. But personally, I don't hit up people and, and hit up girls with no direction. I don't just be having conversation just to not have conversation. Masculinity, guys, is structured living. It's direction. That's what I want y'all to be on. Purpose driven, not just for money, but even with your relationships when it comes to women and where you're trying to take it to. That's what women respect more and they are going to find that more attractive. So you covered a lot of things here. One, you hitting up the girl when you know you're going to have time to actually get on a phone call and actually having an open schedule to possibly see her. So there, you ain't wasting time. You're not turning into a pen pal. You're not hitting her up too soon because you super coming across like you super desperate, like you don't got no other options. You basically moving on a timely schedule that's good for your schedule and your life. And the byproduct is the girl will look at you like you higher value, like you got other options, like you ain't super desperate, like you ain't like. Like, you know, she wasn't the best thing ever, meaning there is room for her to prove herself to you and impress you. You see what I'm saying? And you'll get the best version of her. You want it to be like this. So instead of faking and waiting three to four days, five days, six days, whatever you do, actually have some shit going on that it makes sense. It's like, hey, there's no reason to text her today because I can't see her tomorrow anyway. I couldn't see her this weekend. I can't get on a phone call today either because I got X, Y, Z going on. Understood? Now, the next thing here, after you hit her up, is your goal is you need to get on the phone call. So let's say I hit that girl up and I say, hey, how? Hey, this is D. How was your weekend? She says, hey, D, right? And she like, oh, my weekend was great. Uh, I did this. I did that. What did you do, right? And I say, oh, oh, I did X, Y, Z or whatever the case, right? Now, you probably wonder, well, how long should I take to take text back? If you have a busy schedule, it'll naturally drag itself out. But even if you don't, I will still say this for a lot of you guys. You still want to play the whole wait in a couple hours or wait an hour or so just so you don't seem like you just sitting at your phone waiting for her to text you like you ain't doing nothing else guys when i'm focused on other activities i'm genuinely focused on those activities i'm not constantly checking my phone i'm not on my phone all damn day and this also starts the training process with women so they understand that hey man this is a busy guy that got shit going on and she will see that you are a valuable man that's the goal here you want the girl to see that you're valuable but it will be seen notice if you're doing everything I'm saying it will be seen naturally and if she can't recognize it fuck them and you move on but the goal here is to get on the phone call so you do a little bit of you know texting back and forth it can be anywhere between uh, two texts up to five or six 
however you want to do it, whatever is natural for the conversation, but your goal here is to get on the phone call. A lot of guys skip over phone calls these days. They don't do FaceTime calls, and this is shit I've been doing for years because I always saw that a girl's interest peaked once we would get on the phone. So I would get a girl's number, whether I met her in person or through a dating app, I'm always trying to take it to the phone call so we can FaceTime or talk on the phone. One, if it's off the dating app, I need to make sure, bitch, you don't look like no damn beluga whale in this bitch, okay? Because some of these hoes be putting pictures on their profile still from right before COVID. Because you know women mature earlier than guys. So a lot of us, like if I use pictures from when I was 20, 19, you know, around that age, which is just, what, three, four years ago for me, I would look totally different compared to what I look like now. However, women, they be, you know, they mature earlier. So a lot of girls that was 20, 21, they look the same at 2024. 20, I mean, 23, 24, you know, and you, you'll get thrown off. So I had, you got to make sure she's still the same weight. You feel like I am? I'm not, I'm just not big on the Lizzo's. You know what I'm saying? I need a fit girl that care about her health and her, and her body just like I do. You know, no disrespect to the, to the uh, SBBWs. You know what I'm saying? Some of them can get piped down too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, don't lie to me, nigga. I know what you watching that hub, nigga. <laughs> but, you know, I don't want to take her out to eat because I feel like she done ate enough for a lifetime, you know? But getting on the phone, guys, when you can build rapport, this is going to build a connection with the girl so she can actually hear your voice. She can hear your personality. You can hear hers. You can read body language and stuff, right? If you FaceTime and it's seeing her facial expressions and her micro expressions, you get so much info and feedback from uh, somebody's nonverbal cues. Uh, and, and actually being able to hear a tone of voice and stuff, it helps you so much in seeing the girl's interest to see how much y'all click and if you even like this girl. Another thing too, a lot of you guys want to text and only text and make jokes and all this stuff and then you wonder why the girls get offended or they get bored or whatever. It's because they can't hear your tone of voice. If you a guy that you know that you more of a quiet guy, you don't talk a lot, maybe you don't have a lot to say, but that don't mean what you're saying don't have substance or it's not impactful. If you try to text the way you would talk, it might come off boring. A lot of you guys say, oh, I'm a, a boring texter. Well, stop trying to text all day. Why do you need to know how to text? Now, I, I'm going to make a video on how to text girls and show y'all examples. But the whole thing of texting, guys, is to get to the point to where you can see the girl and go on a date. Or if you if you ain't comfortable to take it there or she not ready to go out yet, a good way to do this to make sure she's comfortable to go out and make sure you like this girl and actually want to spend your money or even have her come over to your house. I know some of you guys don't want to do dates, but... Guys, you don't. You shouldn't just want to invite any girl into your house. I, I'm trying to tell you, you don't know these hoes. They might Cardi B your motherfucking dumb ass, okay? You never know. You're so, you know, following your dick so much and no ass left behind, do YND. Yeah, YND, we gonna fuck all these bit melatonin dick. Melatonin dick. You know, and all of this shit. And most of you niggas can't even fuck good. Not like me, you know, son. But... Nonetheless, you feel me? You over here trying to, you, you know, invite some girl in your house. She might have a dick. You know, what if you get to the back, you making out with her and shit? You know, them shits be, them hoes, them, them trannies, they be looking real these days. You know, and you get down there, you're like, damn, that pussy wet as hell. She like, yeah. She like, yeah. I know. And you're like, what the fuck? This big ass Johnson, her shit bigger than yours. You feel me? Make sure you know who it is, guys. She might have, her phone might be tapped by her ex-boyfriend and he see her location. Hoes be dumb, you know, or be trying to use dudes to get other girls jealous. And then you have some nigga pulling up at your crib. Just, just, you want to get on the phone too and fill her out a little bit. At least feel like you like the bitch a little bit. You like the vibes. You know, you like her tone of voice and you like her energy and shit. So you don't, so you can gauge if you wasting your time to even pursue and keep going. She might be using you for a little bit of attention. She might not even be feeling you that much. She might have gave you the number just so you can get out of her face. And now she don't know how to let you down or she bored right now. So she just want to use you for attention. But if you can see her face and see how she responded to your energy and how you move and you'll know like, okay, yeah, I like this girl. I want to move forward. I want to, you see what I'm saying? So get on the phone call with her. It's going to help you. It's going to help her. It's going to make it so easy. Now, the next thing, at the end of this call, you want to ask for this girl's availability or you want to say, hey, look, I'm free on Saturday or what you doing on Saturday night? I'm free around seven. I want to see you. Let's go out or you come over here. However you want to do it, whatever you got the balls to say, nigga, it's your world. The bitch living in it. You feel me? Do it how you want to do it. But what I'm going to tell you is that you you want to get her availability at the end of this phone call. So the timeline of all of this is like you get a girl's number on Thursday. On Monday, I hit her up, right? Because the weekend over. We had that combo. Monday night, preferably, I get on the phone with her, right? Hey, you free for a phone call at this time? Okay. Or if you want to just call out the blue, she might not answer. But you leave, you know, you can text her afterwards, say, hey, I called you. Call me back at this time, right? Um, 
and get on a phone call with her. If you can't do no phone call or you don't want to do that, you could also do audios, right? It's 2024. We got everybody got iPhones. You can, and even on the Androids, you can send voice audios and voice messages if you want to talk that way and build a little rapport just so she can hear you outside of just the text and 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 you know she don't misconstrue your words or your energy, right? If you get on a phone call, you're gonna come across more pleasant. That's all I'm saying. Or at least if, if she thought you was born over text, maybe you not, and she don't know because she can't hear how you saying things, right? Maybe she got offended by a joke over text, but she heard how you said it, and now it was funny to her. You never know, but now you're on a phone call. At the end of this phone call, right, I'm asking for this girl's availability, and I'm going to tell her, I'm going to get back to her and let her know what days and stuff like this work best for me, okay? Or I'm going to pick a day and time out of that, and then I'm going to follow up later to set up the date. And I'm going to teach y'all how to properly confirm dates in different ways that you can do it. Because I gave y'all only one method, but I actually got several in different ways that I do shit that I do want to share with y'all. Yeah, you want to ask this. This is so, you see how I'm progressing things and I'm moving things along? This is how you become efficient with your time. And if you, you know, if you still on your slimy grandma, I just want to fuck every girl in that world. I just, I just, I just want to fuck. If you still on that and you trying to smash a whole bunch of chicks, this is how I was able to do it, guys. You get efficient. And you you give most women the minimal amount of time necessary and the girls that's bullshitting, they're trying to bull dick and pussyfoot around and play these damn games and, well, I'm not free today for a phone call. How about Friday? And you like, bitch, I'm not about to sit around and wait for you till Friday. And you got a whole bunch of girls you talking to. It's like a snowball effect. You getting on phone calls. You talk to each of them for, you know, 10 to 30 minutes. And then you setting up the date at the end of that convo. You see what I'm saying? Or getting her availability to set up the date. And whatever what I would tell you to do is if whatever route you want to do it get her availability on the phone and pick the day and time that work for you or you can straight up say hey I am free this day maybe you already know what one day you free and that's the only slot she can get you tell her that you say hey this is the day I'm free this is the only day I'm free right and you'd be like let's go out you can you do this day she's like yeah that works you be like okay bet you know Thursday at six right that's or seven that, that's that's when we gonna do it she gonna say well where are we gonna go you say i will let you know once i figure out the place you hang up the phone after this she might hit you up okay or you can hit her up again now typically i won't hit the girl up again right i will literally let her hit me up now what you can do because this starts the this starts to turn it on the tables to get her to start pursuing you and this is what's going to be able to help you also weed out women that's trying to get into your life and girls that's still thinking that you're supposed to do 100 percent of the pursuing there's two ways that you can do this i mean before you call the girl you could have been the one that sent the last text so then when you get on a phone call with her and you talk to her and y'all hang up you set the date She'll see that, okay, he sent the last text. So it's natural and it makes sense that you wouldn't double text, right? Especially that early on. And she hits you up. So you put her in a position to where, okay, he sent the last text. I got to hit him up to keep this going, right? This is for you scared ass niggas. What if I lose her from that Monday that I set it up to that Thursday, YMD? You know, some other dude might come in. Get, man, if you make yourself more valuable and more attractive and you actually talk to several girls and you stop putting your eggs in a one basket with that damn beta male ass scarcity mindset, you will stop giving a fuck. If you had a life outside of women and other things that was bringing you happiness, you would stop giving a fuck. But just to set you up, you send the last text and then you call her so that then the only person that is natural to respond is her because you sent the last one. Another way you can do it, and it's the opposite way to look at it, is you let her send the last text and then you call her so that that way your little beta male ass can text her the next day because now it's natural for you to hit her up. Do this one better, actually, if you want to keep the control to make sure she don't lose interest. But I'm telling you, you're going to fuck up, nigga. If, if you thinking like this, you already going to fuck up. But go ahead and knock yourself out. You let her send the last one, then you do the phone call. So then you can wait a few hours or the next day you can hit her up and it makes sense because she lent, sent the last text. She can't look at you like you're desperate because it's not double texting she sent the last one you got on a phone call and then you hit her up okay there you go now what i like to do is either the evening right before the date okay so if it was thursday on a, like later in wednesday i would say hey this is where we meet that tomorrow okay like right before bedtime but i'll probably send that at like eight or nine at night right and then usually by the morning time she have responded saying okay you know i would say here here's the location we're going to does this work for you right or is this good for you or whatever and she'll say yeah that's fine and you say okay see you then right and you can text that that same morning that can set you up right and then what you want to do is i would not text her all throughout that day don't reconfirm don't say hey we still on never do none of that shit that's unconfident um 
just get ready like it's gonna go down. And if you got other bitches and other things going on too, this is where you can have double plays set up, but I could talk about that at another time. But don't ever reconfirm. It looked needy, it looked like, you know, you might as well have a sign on your head that say, I get flaked on and bitches never show up. I'm just a fucking loser. You might as well say that. If you're gonna be like, hey, we still alone? Cause that sound like you 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 worry and you giving her out to be like, hmm, nah, I'm not. You know, cause women they be looking for reasons to, to cancel, guys. You you wanna get a girl on a date. This is really important because if you don't get her on a date, uh, women be looking for reasons to cancel because they got issues, man. They got issues. They, they, they. Women are horrible at detecting good, the actual good dudes uh, doing what's right for them. You know, they, they do everything off of feeling. You know, one day she feel bad. She had a bad day. Her boss made her mad or something. Her mama made her mad. She don't want to go out no more. You know, but then if she did go, you know, sometimes they still go anyway for whatever reason. Her brother told her, hey, that's messed up. You should go. And she wasn't going to go, but her brother said that. So she went and then she feel like she met her Prince Charming and she's so happy that she went. So you want to get her to go without trying to force it. Right. So the way you do that is don't give her outs like, oh, we still on today. Like never do that. And it look unconfident. And how you talk to the girl in the middle of it is still maintain the responding, you know, every hour, two, three hours, dragging it out. It could be longer than that, by the way, if you want to. I mean, it's up to you, bro. Um, you know, sending a little bit of messages and stuff, but you really want to keep all the mystery and not reveal your hand and show her how much you're interested and talk so much about yourself. Don't get rid of all the questions that you want to ask her. Save that shit for in person. It's kind of like, you know, in recruiting, guys. You, I would do preliminary phone screens, but then there was still an actual inter interview with the manager. So I had a certain list, list of questions that I would ask a candidate to make sure they would even be a good fit. But then the manager had a whole different list beyond those questions that they would ask. I didn't, you know, I didn't ask all of those questions in that first screen. And why? Because that's going to kill everything. And it's also overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? It can be way too much. So just ask a little bit of questions, build a little rapport, talk about her week, you know, where y'all met. You know, uh, y'all can talk about a little brief shit, send some IOs, talk on the phone. You can talk about anything, bro, about music, whatever topics. I can give y'all that. I already made videos on that. Learn how to get some damn conversation, man. Y'all niggas want to ask for handouts for everything. And I'm telling you, you niggas that still asking, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm going to make those videos, but you already fucked. So the fact that you this scared to lose this girl, you're already going to lose her. And it's a necessary thing that you got to go through, bro. You're not going to get them all, especially in the beginning. I'm telling you, you're not. I'm telling you not it's part of it um but yeah this is how you pursue with women after you get the number go through this progressions of dating and how to pursue and the goal is to get on a phone call and get this girl on a damn date and notice that my timeline as you saw was literally from the time i met her on that first thursday i'm already in my example right I'm already seeing her by that next Thursday. On that same Monday or that Tuesday, I already got on a phone call with her and then I set it up for that Thursday that I was free. You see how quick that's moving? That's moving with direction like a man and women will be attracted to this if she already like you. She's gonna go along with this. If she try to reject you or stop it, don't sit and be like, what do I do? How do I get this girl back? Stop thinking like that. Why do you want some girl who don't want you, bro? Do you not have enough respect for yourself that you're trying to convince some girl that you did everything right, you did everything confidently, and you're trying to take her out and she don't want to go? What makes her better than you? Because she got a stinky pussy? Because she got a pretty face? Like, why are you putting her on a pedestal and she don't give two fucks about you or your time and your emotions and she over here driving you up a wall and you over here going crazy to get this girl? Y'all got to stop thinking like that. If she don't put in no effort whatsoever, just leave it be, bro, and go deal with another girl and stop looking for shortcuts. Put in the work, make yourself more attractive and make yourself more valuable. Learn what's objectively attractive. Learn you some game. Learn you attraction tips and, 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 uh, and physical attraction tips to improve yourself, which a lot of these is going to be long-term thinking to actually improve overall. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other videos. Check out the Patreon. I will see y'all niggas next time. Peace.